Hey pen friends, welcome back to Ginger PT Pins. My name is Sarah and today I have an unboxing for you from another company that I have never um, purchased a pen from. This one is from River City Pins. Um, I'll pull out my receipt there. So here's a box. Let's see. Okay, with Shop Supervisor Charlie, look how cute. <laughs> I love this. Came with a sticker and a card, River City Pen Company. So here is, I, I don't want to show you the details in case you saw, um, you're going to see the thumbnail of this video, so you're going to know what it is. But. Here is the pen box. Every time I read River City, I think of the song from the Music Man right here in River City. Um, yeah, so, okay, I'm very excited for this, and I will tell you why in just a minute. So, this is a River City Shady Side in what he's calling Weather Map, and uh, has a Bach nib. Look at this. Does it not look like a weather map? I think it's so cool. And it's got a few little like specks of glitter in it that I'm seeing. Oh look. It does a few little specks of glitter. Interesting. But listen, I live in South Louisiana. <laughs> and one thing that we get down here, um, or is not uncommon for us to have is hurricanes. And when I saw this, I, at first I commented on Instagram, like, this gives me just a little bit of, I guess stresses me out just a little bit because of hurricanes. <laughs> but the more I kept seeing it, the more I was like, that is so cool. And like, for living on the Gulf Coast, like, what a fun pen to have, you know. Um, so here is the grip section. It's got a good swirl of that pink and orange. This is really pretty. I, um, one thing that kind of held me back from this is the Bach nib. I'm not real sure, um, how much I'm going to like it because I'm just not very experienced with them. Um, the one or two that I had like way early on in my pen journey, I was not super impressed with. Um, but that doesn't mean I won't be this time. So here it is. The, um, the threads are very smooth, um, to turn they are, you can feel them, um, here. And that step is got, has a, a, you know, fairly sharp corner there, but the grip section is, is generous. So there's plenty of room for my fingers. If you're the kind of person who holds your pen back here, you might want to consider that step might not be for you. Might have to look at a different model, but look how pretty. I mean, what a unique, um, material. And I would not have jumped on this so quickly, well, I, I did actually wait a few days, but I would not have jumped on it um, at this time if he had not said, like, this was sort of a one-off material, and he had two pens that he made with this material, and that was it. So I'm pretty sure this is it, and I just, like, did not feel, like, after a day or two, I was like, I just don't want to look back and have missed out on this. So, all right, let's get this pen inked up and see how we like this Bach nib. It does look different, like that feed looks different from the Yovo nibs that I am used to. There is no marking on it for what nib size it is, but I did ask for a fine nib, I believe. Here is a converter, Schmidt converter. So let's think actually what ink needs to go in here. It could go with so many different things. Huh. wonder about Robert Oster Citrus. Let me look. It's one that I swatched not too, too long ago. It's a pretty good match. Citrus is a, a slightly more yellow, but if you kind of look at 
the green and the yellow here together, it goes well. Um, I mean, this does not have to be per perfect, but I think I'm going to go with Robert Oster Citrus. It's an ink that I like. It's an ink that I swatched. I had a sample of it after the ink rainbow, and I liked it so much that I bought a bottle the next time I was ordering from somewhere that had it in stock. So let's go with this one. I don't know if I will regret going with a slightly drier ink. It's not too dry because I don't like inks that are too dry. Oh, and I certainly hope that this like satin, I'm not going to fill it up because I don't know how much, I don't know. I'm just, I'm, I'm kind of unsure about my ink choice with this pen, you know, like the combination. We'll see. I mean, I really like the ink. I just am unsure about it in this box nib. Are we going to like it? I hope that this satin material doesn't stain. That's something I didn't show you. I didn't say. I mean, I'm sure you can see that the material is not glossy, but more of like a satin matte. Um, I'm not a huge fan of like super matte. But this is a very smooth, like, like I said, kind of a satiny matte, which maybe is how all matte <laughs> fountain pens feel. I don't know. All right, so let's give it a try. Oh, and let's see, does this pen <gasps> post? It does. I don't know if I would do that. I would not want the cap to damage the finish. Oh, it actually does pretty comfortably post. So let's see, let me get into my notebook here. I've been inking a lot of pens in greens lately with green inks. So this is my very first River City, right here in River City, Pen Company, Shady Side. Um, he called this weather map. Um, I was thinking I would call it hurricane season. <laughs> uh, the, the material, because the, uh, the material was unnamed by its creator. So he sort of crowd crowdsourced a name for it. Um, River City did. So Richard. Um, all right, weather map. So I kind of feel free to call it what I want to. <laughs> and it has a Bach fine nib so far on this paper this is um old tomo tomo river paper it feels really good this is robert oster citrus i really like this green a lot it's a bright kind of limey green but very legible my heart did not come out um I've found it to be very legible and um, not too dry. So I've liked it a lot. Yeah, that's writing really well. Okay, okay, Bach Nibs. Maybe I need to give you a second chance. Well, I mean, I am now. <laughs> let's try, let's see. It's just a little scrap of paper. Let's see how it feels on this paper. Feel smooth. Truthfully, it doesn't feel much different than my Yobo fine nibs. Um, it actually, well, it does feel slightly different, but not much. So I don't know what I was worried about, but I mean, the one downside, which is not really a downside for me, is that you can't swap this nib around with all your other Yovo nibs, but I marry my pens and nibs together for life. <laughs> um, because otherwise I will never know what nib is where. So I just, and I don't want a system for having to track that. Like the pen and the nib stay together unless there's just something really wrong with one or the other. So yeah, there we go. This is my River City Shady Side and Weather Map. And I think it's so cool. Like, what a unique pen. 
I'm so happy with this. Super excited about it. Um, 2023 was the year of um, bespoke fountain pens. I purchased so few like big name brand pens. Um, just a couple like uh, an SC and the Pelican pen of the year and like a, a Twisby Eco or two, like just so few. Um, most of my purchases this year have been bespoke pens and I am loving that. So, um, do you have any pens from River City? What do you think? Let me know. Um, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I am so excited to go and start using this pen. I think I'm going to use it in my journal tonight and uh, just start enjoying it. And, um, you know, try not to let it stress me out about the weather. I actually love, part of me loves a low grade hurricane or like a tropical storm because I love thunderstorms. I love thunder. I love big heavy rain. Like I love that kind of weather as long as I don't lose power and you know people aren't being hurt by tornadoes and hail and stuff like that. So that comes with a big caveat but um, like I secretly always kind of hope for a low grade tropical storm to come through so we can have a couple days off of work and uh, enjoy some rain and thunder and lightning and stuff. So um, anyway, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Um, please like and subscribe um, if you enjoy my videos and stick around um, for more fun. So anyway, have a great day and I'll talk to you soon.